Welcome to the next section of this Excel 101 course. During this section, we're going to talk about taking our simple little spreadsheet here, something that's a bunch of numbers and text, and turning it into something much more graphical. We're going to talk about charts. Now, I'm going to take you through a couple different types of charts. The first one that we're going to see right here is the more common type of chart, a very popular type of chart called a clustered column chart. Later on, we're going to take a look at working with pie charts. Just really quickly, I want to be able to compare and contrast between these two different extremes of charts. So first, a clustered column, perhaps my favorite of all the different charts. It's a very versatile chart and can handle larger amounts of data. Take a look. This is how you create a chart within Microsoft Excel. So my first step, I want to be able to take my little spreadsheet. And I'm still using the same sample file that we've been creating all the way up to this point. I want to take this and make it more graphical. At a glance, the whole purpose here of creating a chart, I want my users, at a glance, to be able to relate to the data and more easily compare perhaps compare different months to one another or different bills to each other. Where did I spend the most? Which month did I spend the most in? Well, if this is simple little bars, just with different heights in the bars, it's gonna be much easier to capture and identify that data as opposed to throwing out a bunch of numbers at my audience. So my first step, I've gotta highlight the data that I want to chart. So in my case, the first go around, I'm going to select from A3 down to D8. I'm going to get my bills and my three months worth of bill amounts. And that's it. Once I have that data selected, I'm then going to go up to my insert tab, top of my screen. I'm going to go about halfway through and I got charts. I'm going to grab the, the uh, column chart here and I'm going to get the first one, the 2D clustered column chart. I'll select that. And I've now got this fancy little chart that took those numbers, just that raw text in the background, and created something much more impactful and accessible. At a glance, what do you think? What is drawing your attention? What assumptions can you make here just by looking at these different bars? Well, right away for me, I'm looking at it and thinking, holy cow, those big blue bars are blowing everything else away. What is that? Oh, that's rent. That's right. Ugh, that 60% of my income going to rent, just right? So it's drawing my attention. I can see those orange and blue ones. Wow, those are pretty low. What are those all about? Well, that's my phone and gas. Well, then again, at a glance, I can start to make these snap judgments and really start to compare information. So a much more graphical approach to our data. Now my chart is pretty big and it's covering up my data right now. So I'm gonna move it, just left click someplace empty and drag it down below. You know, place this down below my data here. So now on one worksheet, I've got the raw spreadsheet and I've got the chart right there. And I also wanna point out that the data and the chart are connected. So if something inside my data changes, and just to illustrate this, let's just say I change January rent from 1200 to 2500, I don't know why, you know, whatever, but I'll change, make that change, hit my enter key, updates my spreadsheet, but it also updated my chart. So they are connected to one another, very dynamic. Let's change that back. I'll go back to 1200 here, hit my enter key. All right, and I'm back to normal. So creating a chart, really simple. Just highlight the data that you wanna chart. In this case, I grabbed A3 to D8, insert, pick a chart. Now I wanna point out some charts are better suited for larger amounts of data, some are better suited for smaller amounts. So I want you to try this. You can do a clustered column, that's what I'm gonna run with here for demonstration purposes, but if you wanna pick something else, try it out, feel free, maybe try out a couple. Grab your data, pick a chart, grab the data again, pick a different chart, just to compare and contrast and see the difference on how the charts behave with your data. Try it out, build yourself, a simple little chart to really illustrate visually what your data looks like.